Uh, hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to create a keyword attendance using google sheet and google form so let's start now firstly you just move on to your google drive here you can create another new folder so create new folder and i'm going to name this as attendance so click on this attendance folder then here you need to create a google sheet and google form so we're going to create a google form first so create google form yeah and i'm going to name this as attendance And here what we are going to write is that we are going to list the student name so let's keep the title as name then I'm going to choose the multiple choice option so first option could be you can give your student name here for example Sonam at another option you can name it as any student you want to I'm going to add this John. So basically, here you can list all the student name here. So yeah, we have successfully created the Google form. Now let's move back to the attendance sheet. Then we're going to create Google Sheet. So click on the Google Sheet. We can rename this as QR code. So basically, here we we are going to create QR code image here. So in order to create QR code, what we need is that we need the link of Google Forms. So we're going to the Google Form. Then. I'm going to copy the link. You can copy the link and then paste it here. So I'm going to move that into one cell. So here we go. And here, what we are going to create is that we are going to create generate the Google QR code image here. So in order to generate the QR code, so we are going to follow the um, Google API. Google API so QR for Google API so QR API Google search that click on the first link so basically we're going to generate the QR code using this uh, Google QR so firstly what we need is that we need to copy this link copy the link and basically what we are going to use is that we are going to use the formula of google sheet for images so let's type formula here equal to sign image click on the image option in the double inverted comma paste this link and now what we need is that we also need some of the required parameter for qr code so firstly in order to specify the QR code, we are going to copy this parameter, paste it here. After that, followed by ampersand. Then copy this image size. So I'm going to give height as 150, length also 150. So followed by ampersand sign. Now we need the specified encoded code data. So we're going to copy this parameter. You can paste it there. After that, followed by double inverted comma and ampersand. Now we need this link to generate the QR code. So let's click on this link and it will automatically generate this 
so close the bracket and enter so here we have successfully generated the QR code so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that it could be easy to visit <laughs> As we have successfully generated the QR code, so now we can scan this QR code using the Google Lens or other scanner in your phone, so which is super easy and super effective. Now, with the help of snipping tools, I'm going to snip this QR code. So, click it on new, then snip this QR code so basically we are going to share this QR code with our strains or anyone so I'm going to share it to my Facebook strains so I have a group chat there I'm going to share it there just share the link with them okay, okay. Now, as this QR code can be scanned to any scanner, as I said, I'm going to use the Google Lens for scanner. So, with the help of Google Lens, I'm going to scan this QR code. So, click on this link. And yeah, you'll be directly redirected to the Google form that we have created and you can choose your name in order to take attendance. So I'm going to choose my name and submit. That's all. That's all. It's very easy and very effective to use. And as you can see that my response has been submitted to this Google, sh Google form. And in order to create a um, response in a Google Sheet, what we are going to do is we'll just click on this Google Sheet button and it automatically creates a response sheet. And yeah, it's have created my it has recorded my name here with all the timing and date. So what I think is that it's very effective and super cool to use this and that's all yeah that's all for all so